Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be talking about dieseling regarding your pellet gun and what it does. Uh, basically, dieseling is using an oil-based substance, you know, oil, engine, engine oil works. Uh, generally, the lighter the oil, the better performance you seem to get from doing it. But taking some oil <clears throat> and putting it in the skirt of your pellet uh, as you load it into your pellet gun, and what happens is when you pull the trigger, that air compresses behind the skirt of the pellet, that oil actually ignites. Just like the oil in a diesel car or diesel truck would ignite in the compression chamber or the cylinder of an engine um, at a certain pressure, uh, thus causing it to fire and, and ignite and getting power to drive the car. So what happens here is when, you, when that oil ignites, it causes the pellet to fly out faster and you get higher velocities and resulting in more power so let's do it alright first thing I should mention as everyone seems to mention is the the dangers of blowing out your seals whatnot I haven't experienced this yet I've been dieseling for the past month or so and I'd say my seals are pretty good honestly I know they talk about the seals inside of the cylinder where the compression takes place um, I don't know I don't I don't I haven't experienced that maybe it would do that on cheaper guns but on my Hatson 95 I haven't had any issues with that so far um, I do notice it does get very dirty so I have to clean it pretty regularly compared to um, uh, not shooting with oil uh, this has been cleaned already I cleaned it I don't know, a week or two ago now and I haven't shot any dieseling yet or anything with diesel um, basically what I use is just basic gun oil. I don't even know who the manufacturer of this because the label came off. But it's just your standard gun cleaning oil. Um, and I'm going to show you what it does. So what I do, I'll take a pellet. And here I got my Crossman Premier. Come on. And these are the round nose. Put it in. And you don't even need that much oil. If you take your bottle, you just squeeze a little bit in there. It doesn't even take a full drop. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, I've noticed, or I've seemed to notice that actually putting a little bit less than filling up the whole uh, skirt of your pellet will give you a greater effect than if you fill it all the way up. So now I'm going to go over here. Over here I have this hubcap that I found on the street. And what you see here is two shots right here on the right side. These were done without uh, using any oil on the shot. And then there's a shot here in the center that I just took. And it actually penetrated through. And I'm not quite sure if it's because it was on the seam of that logo of the Mercury. <laughs> or if it was just because of the extra power. But either way, they hey, that penetrated, so come on. Um, it actually lodged in the wall here, so I'm going to have to cut that out later with my pocket knife. But I'm going to come back in just a second, and I'm going to take a shot at this thing. Um, and we'll see if I can get it to penetrate on the side here like the other ones. Or what effect it's going to have compared to um, non-dieseling. So. Alright, here we go. You can smell the smoke. Let's set that down here. And let's take a look at the damage. Well, look at there. Full penetration. Isn't that amazing? Let me remind you, these are non-dieseling shots right here. These two. So that tells you just how much that little bit of oil does. Wow. That is so cool. Check that out. I think I found the pellet. It's hard to see, but look at that thing. Amazing. And on second look, I think it actually went clean through not only this this aluminum uh, disc here, but I think it went 
It continued on and pierced through the first license plate as well. My goodness, if that's not some amazing power, I don't know what is. All right, so there you go. So that's dieseling for you. Um, if that doesn't make you want to get a diesel truck or something, I don't know what else will. But that's some amazing power from just putting a little bit of oil um, in your pellet gun. So uh, be careful. It's definitely a little bit louder when you shoot with the oil in it. But uh, man, the results are amazing. So uh, have some fun. Let me know what you guys discover. If you have any questions. Uh, I've seen some other videos where someone actually does a, a chrono on dieseling. And his tests were not only the speed and accuracy, or I'm sorry, not only the speed and power, but accuracy. And he said he didn't see any effect uh, negatively to the accuracy. And if anything, he said there was only a positive effect. So uh, test it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share this video. Peace out.